lot. I'm Zoom. This is Whisker Sticks Fishing, and we're going to do a demo on our new product, the Luma Grips. So we're going to wait for some people to tune in here and make sure I got my chat on. Sometimes it takes a minute for people to kick in. So I want live chat. There we go. Okay. Got it set up. So, hope everybody's doing good. We have some new things out. Reminder, since I got one here, if you guys haven't seen these yet, these are our new reciprocator lights. Hey, Maurice. These are our new model of whisker sticks. You get two batteries in it. And I've got another one over here I'm going to show you. This is the red and lime green version. We also have a red blue version. And I'll light that up real quick to show you. And then we're going to get to the Luma Grips. Our new object for fishing. They glow up in the dark. We have. Alright, so. With the reciprocators. Four colors. It's just like a regular whisk whisker stick. Put the battery in, it lights up. Simple enough, right? Well, if you take it out, flip the battery. Put it in, you get a different color. This is our lime green. It's a different green than our regular green. I did not know that. Yep. Turn them around. You get two colors and one light. If you guys haven't met my daughter, this is my daughter Alyssa. She's my little helper. Hi. She's on our Whisker Sticks Pro Hat Squad. You can check out about her on our website. And if you're new to the channel, you just subscribed. All right, so you guys are familiar with fish grips okay yep these are this is a regular this is bass pro fish grip that uh i personally own it's 14 dollars at bass pro comes with a cool paracord lanyard so you can have it around your or have the fish by the lip and you don't lose control of your fish what's going on maurice i think i said hi to you already but hi again <laughs> um they're pretty common. Everybody uses them. They're really handy for toothy fish, walleye, pike, gar, muskie, anything. That's got teeth, you don't want your hands in your mouth, good to hold. When it comes to big catfish, good to be able to have control over the fish with. Some people don't like putting their hands in the fish's mouth, like her. So she can grab the lip, clamp Too down, for me. and if the fish lets go, you still got it on your wrist, and you're good to go. It's also good for smaller fish when you don't have a net or a, a waist sling handy. For a smaller fish, you can just keep the lip grip on it, hook your scale into the lanyard, and weigh your fish that way. But, grips, but we have some new ones that glow up in the dark. Yes. Okay, so. Bigger ones. Yellow, white, blue, and red. You want to get the other three and hold them? Mm -hmm. This is ours. One of them. These are Luma Grips. So we got four colors. Red, blue, green, and white. Or red, blue, white, and yellow. I'm sorry. But, but white. Not this green. Hide that one. But white, <laughs> turn, since it's green. What these things do, what's special about them is they absorb light. And they slowly release the light over time so they glow in the dark. And if you're wondering what these balls are here for, they glow up in the dark also. You got J&J Catfish in the house. Antique Catfishing, how you doing? Hey. And we've already shown these earlier today on Facebook, but I know not everybody uses Facebook. Yeah, I like trying, trying to keep it low for her so you guys can see her too. But I wanted to show you guys on YouTube for the people who don't use Facebook. <laughs> they operate the same. They're still grips. Or if They're you don't still use got a lanyard, Facebook. Or... But they glow in the dark. And we're going to cut the lights yeah. and show you how they look. Now, I had these. You don't have to use sunlight to charge these. You can use any light source whatsoever. If it was for sticks. I wouldn't recommend an open flame, <laughs> but if you got a campfire or something, I'm sure they'll absorb light from the fire to an extent too. But headlamps work fine. Headlights on your car, the LED light for your phone camera, any type of light source, whisker sticks. I actually set these over my end table lamp in mine and my kids' bedrooms to charge them up for a minute. We're gonna see how they glow, so. Enjoy. You wanna go kill the lights? Yep. Well, I'm dropping it. In three, two, one. Look at looky, looky. They're glowing. So, 
This one here. What? What is that? I think the dog just moved your hoverboard. This is the red one. <laughs> okay, turn the light back on. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, she just knocked the bag over something. And the hoverboard. Why don't you let her back in the kitchen? Yep. Well, that episode was a fail. I've been getting bad a lot. Oh. Sorry, guys. Um, I can't get this. Yep, and her snowboard got worse. Alright guys, <laughs> so, sorry about that one. Anyway, Howdy from Decatur County, Tennessee. Rewind. Three, two, one. Okay, so this is the red. Glows red. I got a low ISO on my phone. That kind of looks like orange. Some people think it's orange, but it's red. They, I guess. On our Facebook website. And, uh. That's the red glow. Yep. Hold that one. Okay. Our red one. Next up is our yellow one. It goes up a pretty good little, little one greenish. I think the light from the screen is actually buffering out the glow. But that's you can yellow. check them on our website page. Let's see what they really look like. We got blue. It's like an ocean color. And then white. Here's, here's the granddaddy. This is the white. The white definitely absorbs the easiest because it doesn't have any pigment in the plastic. Yeah. But uh, you this. can literally charge these. You can kind of see where it's fading out here. And, uh, and they're really used to use even when you're night fishing. The little ball glows. Well, and I was talking you ain't got to worry about fumbling in the dark for them. They work really good. All four colors are super easy to see in the dark. And like so, where she like, just came up on the camera, I think that's what it is, is the light from the screen is actually buffering a lot of the glow. And if you don't... Because you can see this across the entire garage. This is a, it's a single car garage, but it's like 50 feet deep. So I can see these from one end of the garage to the other. If I lost, this has a flashlight, kind of. I don't know about a flashlight. Yeah. Why don't you go turn the light back on? What do you guys think about these? Sorry, Dad. Let me know what you think. Three, two, one. I'm going to let these dim out a little bit. Yeah. They kind of made charge still a little bit. They sat for about a half hour before we came on here. Yep. But I literally just took them. You don't need sunlight. You can just set it on a lamp. These were the old Put ones. it over your headlight. I'll just drop the lemon grip. She's on her hoverboard. Yeah. It's <laughs> so, kind of noisy. They're essentially the same grip. There's a couple design differences than what you might get at the one at Bass Pro. Uh, they're definitely not an identical grip, but they work the same. Yeah. Antique says he likes the white one. I'm actually partial to the blue one. The blue one's my favorite. I like the, the way the blue glows. I if you want to see a good high resolution photo that we took with a way better camera, you can go on our website, whiskerstixfishing.com, and we have. A, and we have it on the. We have. And you can go to the YouTube button, it'll send you right to our channel. <laughs> Mike Crow's <laughs> table one. Yeah. We got a. I'm about, I'm we have a light 10. picture showing how it looks right mm -hmm. now, and then we have. A dark comparison so you can see how they look in the dark when they glow yeah. and uh, I, I use a lot better camera to take those because it's really low lights nothing fuzzy looking and uh, I was actually expecting it to look better on this camera but that's what happens when you're live so these are the Luma grips they're on our website in stock now we got tons of them in there uh, they're eleven ninety nine, and so looks like they're going pretty quick. And these are all old ones. They don't switch colors like the new I ones. I can get this to. Let me see that. Okay. Here, there's our old one. Now, this is going to. They don't last. I wouldn't say no. that they last all night, but they last long enough to where you can still see them. And uh, Even if, that you're taking, if you're taking a six or eight hour fishing trip overnight, it might not last the whole trip, but you would 
literally just take your headlamp or a flashlight or even the light off of your phone for 30 seconds and it lights it right back up. And to show that, I'm going to take this white whisker stick. I'm just going to hold it right here. For 30 seconds. This is a really, really old one. One, I'm going to hold two, this right here. Three, four, where five, that white is. Six, seven, it's going to be the brightest part on there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Red ones look creepy. 19, 20, 21, 22, <laughs> Thanks, Dexter. 23, 24, 25, 26. You're probably just now waking up or there in Malaysia, 20, ain't you? 29. Are looking into um, I think we need to make a new figuring color. out international sales and shipping globally on certain things. Like when it comes to these lights, we might not be able to ship the batteries with them. But I'm sure that you guys got CR2032 batteries over there, the coin cell batteries. So it shouldn't be a, a problem for you to get them over there. And we could probably ship them to you without the batteries uh, because they're banned from uh, air shipping. You can't ship lithium batteries, but we're looking into that. So if you're still interested in trying some lights for uh, chasing some Mekongs and red tails over there, we might be able to get Can you some. Can turn off the light now? Mike's just waking up. <laughs> All right, so why don't you go kill the light? We'll see how much this little whisker stick did to it in a short amount of time. And three, two, one. All right, ready? So even with a That's whisker stick light, slide. you can charge that sucker up right where the whisker with whisker stick sticks light. technology. <laughs> I think we need to make and a new color for, for the red. That's so the red looks creepy. I, mean, I think we need to make a new color. You gotta turn it back on. Okay. I'm gonna hold it on this blue one for kicks now. How much are seconds? Just turn it on. I was hoping we get some more people in here, but it is kind of late. Yeah, kind of tired. But to all no, the people who are watching, I do want to thank you guys for being involved in our channel. We finally passed a hundred, a hundred thousand. I wish we finally passed a thousand subscribers. Then you get a YouTube vlog. I think last time I checked, we were at one thousand eighty-nine subscribers. So that enabled us to finally monetize our channel. We've had the watch time forever. But we was waiting on getting the 1,000 subscribers. So as soon as we hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, we were instantly able to monetize. There was no waiting period. It was automatically enabled. We didn't have to wait forever to get that stuff approved. It's been approved and just waiting for forever. the pending subscriber count. And as soon as we got that, we were able to monetize our videos. We were able to accept Super Chats. And all that revenue that's going to come in is going to help grow the brand, uh, grow our video content with uh, camera gear, and other filmography stuff and uh maybe once we hit 5,000 subscribers we'll do another epic giveaway the the thing we got going on right now to thank you guys for the 1,000 subscribers is we did a 1,000 uses whisker sticks contest and uh, we did a video of that on here if you want to enter into the contest you merely go to our facebook page and uh, we have all the uh, rules posted on there as well as the youtube video in the deep in the description uh, you can check out the rules, see what you want to enter, put in your idea for a way to use whisker sticks. That's her favorite color, purple. And pink. You like purple better or pink better? My, those are my favorite colors. Which one do you like more? Both. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the winner is going to get, it's going to run till the end of August, and the winner is going to get about $400 in product prizes. Uh, unfortunately, that since we haven't done international shipping yet, uh, anybody outside the U.S. won't be able to collect the prizes as of right now, as far as I know. Uh, that's a lot of stuff to ship out. So, if you want to get entered in the prop, into the contest, uh, apologize to Dexter because I don't think he'll be able to earn the winnings if he does get it because um, he's over in Malaysia. But if you're, any, if you're in the U.S. for this contest and you want to win those prizes, uh, some of them include a flathead rod and a blue cat rod from Muddy River Catfishing, a bunch of apparel and products from us, and a uh, discount on your next order. We're going to give a promo code things. to the winner, so the next time they order on something, they're going to get a huge discount on their next order, and uh, lots of cool stuff. So, 
You got it? Yep. These right. are my favorite well, ones. Roll over whiskers. there and uh, turn the light off, and we're going to see what this whisker stick did to this blue one. All right, you see the dot? <laughs> yeah, this camera don't do it justice. But it absorbs light. So just from that little, even with the light on, she's got from her, she's got headlights on her hoverboard. I know, it's so weird. I'll cover Who it. makes that? Headlights on a hoverboard. I wouldn't want to ride one of those things in the street at night. But it absorbs light even from a little tiny whisker stick. So the fact that the red and blue and yellow have a darker pigment because they got dye in the plastic uh, and take just a hair longer to absorb the light. But when they're at full charge, they're just as bright as that white one. Okay, why don't you turn it back on? Okay. Sorry. My, my, I got for Christmas. All right. We have a lot of colors of the whisker stick. Grandma's in there. Huh? Grandma's in the chat. Hey. Hi, Grandma. Oh, I was trying to hurt your foot. Hey, Thomas, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Hey. You agree, Jordan? What Jordan say? Yeah, I think I missed these. something. I'll hold these. I'll take care of them. But. J and J's in here. If you guys don't okay. know about these, appreciate if, the thumbs up, guys. If you just join in here, these glow up in the dark and the balls on these two light up too. <laughs> oh, Tom, okay. How the line doesn't light up. The, the only difference between these and that bath is the glow in the dark factor uh, and other plastic designs. They, they don't have this look. A lot of these um, oh. store bought ones. That you get in your local shops like Bass Pro Cabela's, they got a paracord lanyard. And uh, I did want to note that these are an elastic lanyard, so they're they got more stretch to them. This is this is just a ribbon stuff. But they do also have that ball to help hold things down. I can't stop playing with them. I love these things. Yeah, they're kind of cool. I wish they could be waterproof. He said it's a great giveaway. Oh, okay. PGA I, I wish they could be waterproof. Do they float? Oh, I actually haven't tested that yet. Um, I don't know. I'll have to get back with you on that. And I would imagine back, they do because they're hollow in I some this areas. Floats, they can float. I don't have no. a tub of water. Out of here. Tub. That's not with water. It's got a hole in it. Hey, what about my massager thing? Why don't you? Eh. Eh. Well, we'll save it for another video. I'm not prepared for it. I, I, I want to say they do. I really want to say they do, Thomas, but I can't answer that with accuracy right away. Lost a few in the lake. I'll, I'll have to check that out. But That's not... See, I don't think of everything. The question I'm not will be in the next video. I know some video. people take some pool noodle we'll floats or question. some styrofoam and they attach it to their lanyard. And Beater does. I think he has like a boat buoy. Uh, what do you call them? Things that sit on the sides of boats to keep them from smashing up against the docks. One of them big white rubber float things. He's got one of those attached to his. Are my comments not auto scrolling? Catfish Bill's in here. Hey. I'm not. I don't think I'm seeing everybody's. Let me see. Hold on. That's all. Oh, whoa, 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 get back. sorry. I'm on live chat. Yeah. Little less. Saw his off. was just wondering. Yeah, that's a good point, Thomas. Good question. I'll have to get back to you on that. If you got Facebook, send me a message to remind me, and then I can respond to you and answer. And I could probably know that within after, maybe the next hour or so. After this, we'll test it out. You uh, know. Now I'll, I'll fill up the yeah. sink and see if it drops or sinks. Or floats. Rent and cost of living, brother. But I'm pretty sure these <laughs> are going to be expensive. All right, I think I'm missing some comments. Either somebody's not aware that they got me blocked. I know I have issues with Catfish Bill, and that's Sometimes. still a mystery between us. I can he can see my comments, 
when he's live. But I can't see his comments when I'm live and we can't see each other on a third party's live like Catfish Weekly or something. So it came out. Sorry. Bear with me. Sorry guys. My note nine's a little too big for the clamps. Sorry guys. I think you're getting everyone. Ultra fail. I know I don't see Bill. There's eight people in here, eleven thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching. I know it's kind of late. Um, yeah, I don't know. For some reason, it seems like I don't get everybody's comments. And other people are interacting with them, so I know they're in here. Yes, they do. I'm putting one in a tub now. Okay, Selena's on it. She says they float. So there you got your answer. She's filling up the tub now. She says they float, so I'm going to take her word for it. <laughs> I'll uh, fill up my sink anyway. Yeah. Just so you got two two two, like two, two and a half sets of eyes. What's the price and We're where can you get them high. from? Thomas, they're on our, our website. This is our product, whiskerstixfishing.com. And, and then go to the shop. Where it's the shop. shop, like she said. And uh, it should be right close to the top. It'll say have a little tag that says new arrival. And, uh, and they're, that means they're called Luma Grips. That means new. They're eleven ninety nine plus shipping. So if you're just our the way our shipping bad, works bad. is it's on a tiered based system from weight class. So from X amount of pounds to X amount of pounds is one weight class with a shipping rate, okay. and then so from there high. to another X amount is another shipping rate. So if you're buying just the one uh, Luma Grip, I, I believe it's three ninety nine shipping. And that covers the packaging, the the mail rate, and everything else. So. Irvin, what's going on, man? Hey. How's the trucking life doing for you? Hope you're having a good weekend. And if you guys got questions about other products that you've seen, whether it's the lights, our apparel, the catchets, our bobbers, anything that we sell on there, or if there's anything that you would like to see us sell on there, let me know now. Or it's if you're watching this later, if it's two weeks from now and you're just now getting to watching this, um, they actually go out of the dark. You can leave it in the comments. Well, Alright, so Lena sent me a video <laughs> of her bathtub. I'm watching it right now. They're floating. My work is going to jump so, check an arm. We've got evidence. She was using a yellow one. And I'll actually take a high quality video of it. And uh, I'll post it up on Facebook or something, or maybe even upload it on here so you can see. But uh, yeah, they're, we... they're kind of like collection bracelets, ain't they? Yeah, but noisy. Collect them all. Got them all. You never know when you're gonna need a different color for something. They're like pogs. Or you could buy all of them if you want. But Thomas got his answer. They do float. Do you guys have any other questions about any other products we got while we're on here? Because I don't get to talk to you guys as much as I used to, so I want to. Try to get as much interaction as I can. These go in the dark. The and they're oh, 11 99 <clears throat> I think. Yeah, this is blue. And they have different, and they have, and they glow in the dark. Blue. They, they can use any, any copy if you're just watching mm -hmm. and you haven't seen what they did. They glow up in the dark. Green. Green, yellow, greenish yellow, red or green, or not red or green, red or orange, like a color sea blue when they glow in the dark. Well, I got these here. I'll show you the difference where I said the two greens are different on the reciprocator. So this is the reciprocator lime green, different. and then this is our original green. So there is a brightness difference. There's a new one. Why don't you go kill that light real quick? Okay. That there, there's a difference. Use. But you're getting two colors in one. Three, two, one. So the red light's up still good. How light's up? And that's the lime green. Uh, UV reactive. What did I just see there? Get one of each color and have a set for calling. Very good idea, Antique. I like that. I love your what's, creative what's thinking. Idea, Daddy? UV reactive. Will they charge under a UV black light? Good question. You know what I got here? I have just a thing for that. 
I have a Whisker Sticks UV black light. Listen, turn the light on for a second, please. My little Vanna White. What question are they asked? They asked if it reacts to UV light. Ooh, that's a really good question. What does that mean? Let's go in here. Uh, tell me in the com tell me in the comments what does that mean. You know what a black light is? I saw one on the Spider Man Jazz website. This yeah. is a black light. You can find <clears> those. <throat> Let me get the white one. Black light. Black black light. I I saw them. so this is what they look like when they glow up. <laughs> You're too close. <laughs> I know. All right, know. so this green's dulled down a little bit. I've got a UV black light here. Ooh. So, why don't you kill those lights on that hoverboard real quick? Okay, I I killed them. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll hold this on here. We'll see what it does. Now, if you're wondering what that the UV is. isn't as powerful and bright as the original Whisker Sticks. This is just a single UV diode compared to like an entire black light bar. <laughs> Turn it this on quick. <clears throat> so compared Sorry. to like a black light bar setup you would have on a boat or a rod rack, that's going to be way more powerful than this. So I would imagine that they would. We'll leave this sit on here for a minute. And we'll see how, how it looks. Thomas struck my curiosity. Sorry for all the questions. I fish under UV black lights. Thomas, I actually appreciate all the questions. One, it keeps me talking. What? And it keeps me interacting what? with you guys. And it helps me learn more about stuff that I might not have known myself. So I use a 24 volt UV black light. Okay, well, this is one 5 millimeter LED diode. That is a UV light. It's not black light, it's ultraviolet light. I don't know if there's a difference between ultraviolet and black light, but this is an ultraviolet five millimeter LED diode powered by a three volt battery. So this is maybe about an eighth, mathematically speaking, an eighth of what yours probably does. And I don't care if you ask me how many zits I might have on one of my toes. As long as people are asking questions, I'm happy to answer them. Trying to do tricks. Yeah. So we can see that it's out. it's going through. It's white, but it's clear. Um, it, it's kind of like Larry Bird. Anybody get that Wait, Space Jam works. reference? When he looks at Michael Jordan and says, Larry's not white, Larry's clear. Does the UV black light make a difference in bugs? Good question, Antique. I believe they're actually attracted to UVs in most instances. Because I think that's what bug zappers use as a black light. You gotta remember, bugs can see uh, ranges in the spectrum that we can't. So they see colors that we don't even know exist. Some bugs see infrared, some, some see with ultraviolet. So I wouldn't do that. Yeah. You're silly. <laughs> Will a helium balloon hold up a ketchup? Ugh, I don't know about that. How big a balloon are you talking? Is. Hot air balloon? The ketchup's weigh about four pounds. You're so gonna fall. No, I'm not. You're so gonna fall. All right, let's. I just out of time when it comes. Don't move. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay. Bye bye. Let's see how this looks. It absorbs UV Bam. light. I know my eyes in the line. That's where I was holding it. Come over here. Just turn that light on. Hey, bud. Hi, Dad. Turn the light on. Let's go six Andrews in the so, house. There you go. <laughs> Bye, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. <laughs> Went back to playing Fortnite. Well, he's, he's, a Fortnite. he's a Fortnite-aholic. He's obsessed with Fortnite. So... Now we know they respond to UV light and we know they float. That's two things I did not know about the Luma grips that now I can put on the packaging. 
<laughs> we have a lot of peppers. So that, that sat for maybe, what, two minutes? And you got that kind of result. I've taken the, the light from the back of my phone on my Note 9 and set it on there for about 30 seconds. And it had a big piping hot circle on on there that was glowing. Kind of looked like a, a sunburn. So they they accept light very rapidly. Selling points, yes. <laughs> and I'm waiting for my daughter to drop these eight pound weights. <laughs> this is how this is how heavy my brother is. Speaking of the catches, because right. those got brought up. <clears throat> I told you guys uh they they come with rod holders. You can get it as an option uh, to buy as a combo. So standalone, the catches are uh, fifty bucks. I believe the. My mom probably have to correct me on this. I think they're like 67, 68 bucks if you buy it as a combo with the monster rod holder. Uh, it used to be 75. We brought it down some. Uh, but that made me think of the monster rod holders. And I'm, from what I'm hearing, monster rod holders are getting kind of scarce. And people are having a hard time finding some when they need them. So we actually have a limited supply of the blue tip monster rod holders in our inventory. We got the 033 models and the Stampede 22 models, uh, right-handed thread. Don't have any left-handed thread. We just got the right-hand thread, the original thread. Uh, but we got a, a few of those on in the Stampedes and the 033s in stock. But the only color option we have at the moment is the metallic with the blue tips. So if you're looking to get some monster rod holders and haven't been able to find any if people are out, we do have some, so you can get them off our website too. Those would go great oh, on my yeah. blue boat. I, you I you just came up with a really good idea for the um, I think they're... I came up with a really what are good they, idea. $20, $22? $24? Hands, I think it is the size of the zipple. We sell them the same price Steve does on his side, I believe. When your hands are full, you can put it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you squeeze it? And well, bam. There you go. Or you could put it around your belt loop. Yeah. Um, kind of stuck. Or I know where you can hold it. Open your mouth. Mm -mm. <laughs> I, I already have 17 gone. 17. 24 99 Okay, so they're 25 bucks if you get Monster Rod Holder from us. If you get uh, you know where you get them at. Where are you guys located? Thomas, we're in Cincinnati, Ohio. We do all our business online, so we're an online only really store. We don't have a local drive. We don't have a local retail location. <laughs> I'm in uh Colerain Township. Uh, our headquarters, which is the workshop at my mom's house, is in Finneytown, so we're just outside the main area of Cincinnati and we ship all over the country, so we're pretty Household brand when it comes to certain Someday products. Someday we're going to get them in some stores. We, no, in Bass Pro. We got, yeah. I wish we'd get them in Bass Pro. We yeah. do have them in a few stores. Yeah. We got them in some bait shops. Yeah. And then we have other dealers too. And we're looking for other dealers. So if you know a local bait shop where you think they might want to carry some of these, or if they want to carry some of our bobbers, or our lights, or our hats, or our shirts, whatever you want to buy from us and have at their store, if you bug them enough and tell them how bad you want it, they'll call us and order it and have it at your store and then you don't have to pay shipping. So we're always looking for more retailers and more dealers. And we want to add that to a list. We want to get a big enough list where I can actually add a separate page displaying all the retailers with a map so you can go on there and browse and see which local retailer is going to be closest to you. And you might get lucky and have one in your neighborhood. Even if it's the local gas station down the corner that sells a, a small little slew of fishing supplies. If you want to get them from there, you can get them from there. I'll be coming by y'all on my way to Detroit. Are right, you going north? Where are you coming from, Urban? I will tell my bait guy on the lake by me. There you go. It's that simple. We've, we've had quite a few tackle shops write us. Uh, one actually met us down at the Catfish Conference. He was well, referred to us. we get 2,000 subscribers. Or, I should say she. Her name's Trina Boyd. Uh, the bait shop's Boyd's Bait and Tackle. Uh, they introduced themselves to us down at the Catfish Conference. 
and uh, we got to talking with them and now they carry some of our products in their store down in Kentucky so now we're in Kentucky we've got a uh, tackle bandit uh, uh, I just went blank uh, hookers terminal tackle sells our stuff uh, lead heads uh, mud bums um, mud bum supply shack has a uh, small inventory of our lights and we got uh, about maybe a dozen other dealers they are $23.99 on the website sorry for the mix okay so they're $24 for the monster rod holders anybody got any other questions you're coming up from Alabama you got a long drive from Bama yeah we live in you should have stopped at a Ohio. wheeler down there and did some fishing Irvin I'd love I, to visit Alabama to do I, some fishing I don't know if I've been there So, just another quick comparison. This is a Bass Pro Grip that I paid fourteen dollars for. This is our Luma Grip. I'm gonna to try to line them up as closely as I can to see the difference. There's a little difference in arc. So ours are eleven ninety nine, twelve bucks. This is just a tad bit longer with a little more curl here. A little more ergonomic curl. These fit, these actually fit in my hand better. This has got a wider gap at the bottom. So I actually like the ergonomic feel of this better. Uh, the hole is just a tad bit smaller. Even though but for two colors. bucks less, you're getting one that glows. Just came up from Laredo, Texas. I'd like to go to Texas too. I want to go fish all over the country with everybody. But way too far for us. Fishing Possum Kingdom in the morning, pre-fishing for Cat Masters in October. Awesome. Hopefully we'll be able to, to come there and hang out with you guys. But that is a long drive. We live in Well, I got you guys on here. Uh, is there anything that we don't carry that you wish we did carry? As far as products that are already out there or yes. maybe something that you don't see common in the catfishing industry that uh, you'd like to see us kind of help put a, more, a bigger spotlight on? Show the difference from the inside of the grips, Mom says. Okay. Bring in some products. Uh, if we're able to get out there, um, I think if we if we're able to get out there, I think we're gonna to try to get a booth for yeah, that. Yeah, there's show. a lot that, that we can give away. Sinker slides, Thomas says. Good one. Thomas wants to see sinker slides. Okay. We have kick bobbers a lot. Okay, so when I open these up, two noticeably uh, features. You got a spike with kind of hard to see a hole. Right here that the spike goes into. Yeah. There's a hole there. That keeps that, this that from going from. this way. And then the rest has some hollowed out core segments. And I think that's the other the only other noticeable feature. Um, with this one, this is a uh, solid and it steps up to some hollow some hollow core areas and instead of a spike you almost have like a, a biscuit with a biscuit slot if anybody watches uh this old house or new yankee workshop you know what i'm talking about woodworking shows from back in the day it's got like a little fin uh, with a slot and it slides in like a cd for all you millennials out there and then, i call it a biscuit slot this looks like a heart it does because they're lovely <laughs> <laughs> So, that also keeps it from moving so they can't shake themselves out. Line, you want to see a carry line? What type of line would you like to see us use? That is a better design. You think this is a better design? I think this has more stability. Even if it has a little more uh, wiggle room, it's got more bite. If that spike happens to break off, even if it is solid, 
It is kind of fed into a fin there. Yeah. Kind of hard to see. There's a little fin down there. You see it? That That's meshed in with the spike. But if that breaks off, then you kind of lose all your credibility for uh, slop. Drinking Mountain Dew with Urza Brooks. Yeah. Yeah, I have had that issue. Too. I have a lot of ideas with it. What are you doing, karaoke? Mm -hmm. When I'm over here, I use it all over there so everyone can hear me. I'm psycho. Big fish rolled my grips. That sucks. I had a big fish take my rod in, in the yeah. water. <laughs> That is on... That's, that's what I tell myself anyway. I tell myself video. it was bigger than the one that I was busy trying to weigh. It's pulled up right up there. I caught a 44-pound flathead. It's my biggest flathead ever. And uh, as I was at my back to my other pole, I knew it was getting tapped at. But I didn't see any other action on it, so I wasn't paying attention to it. And as I was trying to get the weight on the fish... My pole, some of you guys was watching it, my pole just went into the river and I lost it. Because like, good. if you take my best friend, I think your pole. Put a float <laughs> on it'll be handle. right up, it'll be right up there. We already have it posted up. You could, uh, take one of them sinker slides. And, uh, take our Muddy River cat bobbers and feed that through here and then you got a Muddy River cat bobber on the back of it, and you got a whisker stick going into the, the keyhole slot. So if it does fall in the river at night and it's floating down the current, see that bobber with that whisker stick light floating down, and you'll be able to go locate it and chase it down. <laughs> That's, why That's what I would want to do. Jordan Lear Outdoors 43 pound broke mine. Oh, Jordan Lear's in here. I don't think maybe, I get to. Maybe. I don't think I'm seeing maybe, Jordan's comments. Probably get one from us. I'm seeing Thomas. I'm seeing oh, Urban. I'm no. seeing Lena. Right. Seeing Mike Crow. Back on my handleboard. Antique catfishing. Dexter. Not, not seeing Jordan. Yeah. Feel free to send us a message about what products you would like for us to carry, and I will do my best to make it happen. Thank you all for your support. That's from the business manager, Lena. So, mom has spoken. If there's something that you guys want to see us carry, let us know what you want to see. And um, in the comments, we can try to make it happen if there's enough demand for it. I can't get one type of one specific brand of float because that one person wants it. But if it's something that everybody can benefit from, then we'd love to carry it. That's why I've, I've been looking at. I've been looking for these for. I want to say a good part. Of almost a year now, about at least half a year. Definitely used to, right before Catfish Conference. But these and actually look like a heart. I we're think. not the only ones that have these. There's other people that, that sell glow in the dark grips. Uh, other people in the past that you've already shot from have sold them in the past. Uh, I'm not dropping names, uh, but I guess they didn't. They didn't want to do it no more, or they didn't know that they were glow in the dark. Some people didn't. Uh, but I've talked to a few anglers and asked them what they thought about these, and they said they liked them, and uh, they still use them to this day, and they've, they've got them from other people. Uh, so we sourced a manufacturer. We did a lot of hunting and found a good supplier for them and uh, got a deal with them, and now they're supplying us. We thought us about it last these. week or so. so. We're going to be continuing to look for other products. Awesome helper there. What's what is your biggest catfish you've ever caught? Um Do you remember? The three pound bass. That's probably No, that's it. a bass. What's oh, the no. biggest catfish that you've caught? Oh um, no, it's a little big. Remember it was on your purple nightstick? Which one? Good job. Was it the um little catfish? Remember it was the picture that you had put frames for me with me, you, and Andrew. Yeah. I and know. for Father's Day. Remember how big that fish was? Yeah. How much? I can't remember. Do you remember, it, what, do you remember what kind of catfish it was? I had, I, I had beans when I was I was five. Do you remember what kind of a... Uh, no. You don't, don't remember, remember what kind of catfish it was? What? It was a channel catfish. And it was eight and a half pounds. 
Yeah, that was a, a long time ago. That her, was like her biggest fish is eight and a half pound channel cat. My kit one was the bass. Andrews is a five pound channel cat. They haven't got to catch any serious monsters yet. Yeah. Kind of hard to take kids but like, when we go to, to trigger, places trigger where Creek, it's safe. I for them. hate fishing there. I just like hunting for snails. He's a master snail hunter. Dad needs to get to work. Yeah, we got to put him on some nice ones. Around here, it's a little tricky to get these guys into some big fish because where I go to, like the Great Miami and the Ohio River, um, I don't want to take them to the big rivers yet. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm almost falls 10, in, so I'll go next year. In case they fall in or something like that, you never know how the undercurrents are, especially the Ohio and the Great Miami. They're notorious for having some serious undertow. But I, even at the good bank thing I don't want to swim. So... I don't want them. I don't want them in that danger. So when I take them out, I stick them in lakes and uh, park ponds and stuff. And they parks. never come. And every once in a while, they catch they catch the catfish, but they're a little harder up here. I'm a master. Catching the lakes. I'm a master by catching bluegill. Remember when we went to Texas in October? I will take you out. Thomas says you want to go to Texas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm mom. Walking around one. a local lake to me. I like walking. Dead. Quackany, grapevine. I calibers. am a master of bluefish. Like, but remember, I caught that three pound bass. And yeah, we took her on a rowboat and we took her to uh, Winton Woods. It's a county park here in Hamilton County. They have a whole uh, district of different parks and they're all man made. I lakes. caught. Took her out on a rowboat with Lena and uh, she caught a three pound bass on her and she flipped it out, set the hook. And guess what? I kill the bluefish. <laughs> the bluegill? Yeah, the bluegill. Oh, she slayed like hundreds of bluegill. <laughs> like probably 50 of them. Oh. A queen one, a king one. I know about all the places down there. I uh, got quite a few friends down there. Just I never had time to travel. Go to one of the rivers next year where I'm 10, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, but probably. Maybe we can get. Maybe we can do like, a, like a little something. river. You're not. You're not bank fishing. Now. <laughs> Too dangerous. She can catch our bait. She, he said you can catch all the bait since you're so good at bluegill. <laughs> okay. Only at Whitman Woods. I. No, in Texas. Oh. <laughs> well, I have a queen at that. I'd like to see you try to fight one of them alligator guards. No, I can't. I'm coming in. Well, I need you. I need, I need you guys to help me. All right, guys. Well, we could talk on here forever if I wanted to. We're getting ready to push up close to an hour now, so I think I'm going to get ready to end it. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. If you're watching this later, or I'm on, or on our Facebook. Put you on them too. Yeah, I like to fish the Trinity River. I'd love to catch some alligator guard down there. Um, but I can't. We're going to hop off here, guys. Appreciate it. We have... Got a message there. Appreciate you guys taking the time to sit and watch with us. Let us know what you think about these Luma Grips in the comments if you're watching this at another date. We love uh, you. We love hearing your guys' feedback. We want to hear the good feedback. We want to hear the bad feedback. We love all opinions from everybody. So if you think they suck or you think they're not worth the money, tell me why. And I'll use that information to make things better for your future purchases and your earn your business so we appreciate the good time you guys take we appreciate the support uh, till next time be looking out for another video i'm coming out i'm still in the middle of editing i know i've been talking about it for the last few weeks been recovering from a dog bite and we've also had a lot of limited time with the newborn so uh He's i'm working on it now. it's a video about how to find Great fishing spots without ever having to leave your house. It's a very thorough tutorial filled with tips and tricks and stuff that I've learned on my own and some things hopefully I can teach you. So it'll save you some gas, it'll save you some time, and hopefully save you some uh, headache, especially if you're a bank fisherman and you think you know a cool spot, you drive up and you see one of those dreaded no trespassing signs when you get there and you just drove an hour and wasted all that gas. So hopefully we can help you avoid that. Glad you're feeling better, by the way. Good to see you up and about. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling a lot better. Still got a little bit ways to go. Yeah. But. He's almost sewing. Yeah. 
It's almost done. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you. We love you. Tight lines. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Take care.